Hi everyone, I think this video is quite necessary and important and uh, this goes if you already own Charlie's Almanac or you're thinking of buying Charlie's Almanac. There are very, very important differences between what is often called the latest edition and the actual latest edition of the complete Almanac. So in this video I'm just going to lay out what the differences are uh, because I feel that a lot of people are getting misled and they don't know what they actually have bought or are going to buy and it's a shame when people think they've got the latest complete edition of poor Charlie's Almanac and they haven't and various other scenarios but I just don't think it's very fair to people what's happening and I don't think that um, many people would make the same purchase decision if they had all the facts to hand because to me it seems evident that the cover and the write-up for the new edition of Paul Charlie's Almanac does not tell the potential buyer the critical information they need to make a purchase decision. In fact I'd go so far as to say it could be interpreted as misleading. Now I have to be very careful what I say for legal reasons however those are my personal opinions you can make your own mind up uh, by looking at the facts. So if you want to know if you own or if you're going to buy the latest complete or abridged smaller version of Charlie's Almanac because there are two books which you can choose from really the complete normal latest English Charlie's Almanac is a, a large uh, square blue covered book with a dust cover and unfortunately even Warren Buffett appears to be confused about which edition is the latest edition of poor Charlie's Almanac. I think I do want to mention we have only one book at the bookstore of the bookworm this year normally we have about 25 but we have poor, Char poor, poor Charlie's Almanac fourth edition and I think we sold about 2400 of them yesterday and uh, uh, that will be the only book. Next next year, we'll go back to having our usual selection. But we thought we would uh, just turn it over to Charlie this year. If you want to distinguish between abridged, smaller, different books and the complete normal Charlie's Almanac. So poor Charlie's Almanac, the complete English edition is in its third edition and there's never been a, an edition come out to supersede that that is complete. What happened is in uh, late 2023, early 2024, an abridged Poor Charlie's Almanac was released. The book is physically smaller and the contents are abridged. It doesn't have the complete contents. What they will say is that it has the complete lectures of Charlie Munger. Now, that's not the complete contents of the book. So I feel that it's been misleading or let's say unhelpful, whichever you, you prefer to use once you know all the facts, that this new Poor Charlie's Almanac has the same title without the word abridged, without any writing on the cover or the description saying that it's, it's essentially different, it's smaller and it's abridged, it's got less content inside. It's incomplete if you compare it to the standard edition. So those are my thoughts, but it's worth saying that the obvious benefit of the smaller edition, the abridged edition, is that it costs less. And if you're looking for something that's uh, more compact, costs less, and you just want to buy it for the lectures, um, it does contain other material but that's the the principal thing that's unabridged in it then yeah that's uh, what you will get but uh, what I don't think is right is that people are confused or misled possibly by uh, Warren Buffett's words or the book description you know we're not talking about a little bit of trimming we're talking 548 pages versus 384 pages we're talking about 5.53 pounds in weight compared to 1.95 pounds in weight. We're talking about 10 
by 10 inches versus 6.25 and 9.25 inches. So these are very considerable differences to some people. Obviously, everyone can make up their own mind. Uh, the, the numbers are objective. Your opinion is subjective. So I hope this video has been useful. It's here to inform you. Um, it's only my opinion. Full disclosure, we sell Poor Charlie's Almanac and various other books by Warren and Charlie. And um, we just think that people should be informed and uh, be aware of what they're buying. Uh, simple as that, because there's so many people who've bought this new book and uh, I don't believe that all of them know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Enjoy your Charlie and Warren Buffett books.